I don't have a problem with Brendan Schaub, right? Or Callen or these guys, you know? I mean, I've known Brian Callen for tw over 20 years, you know? I mean, we're from the same show. I mean, he was on Mad TV before me, but we're a part of that family, right? So it's like, I've been to Brian's house, you know what I mean? I've hung out with those guys many, many times, right? I was just setting a boundary for myself because they were saying crazy things that I had nothing to do with. I'm not in a war with them, you know? I just told them, don't, you know, normally these guys, I would let people talk to me in that way, right? Because in comedy, obviously, you know that there are people that are not like you. Like you and I, I think are more similar in terms of like, our sensibilities, you know what I mean? We're a little sensitive, no? Very. Yeah, very sensitive. And we're, um, you know, little soft creatures, right? And there are other people that are like more dominant alpha-y, right? And so it's like I usually just absorb that shit. But I'm like, because of the shift that you're talking about, I just basically said, hey, man, don't talk to me like that because I didn't do anything, right? And um, we're done, why, why can't I do that as a human being? You right? can. That's what I'm saying. To another human being. So mm -hmm. that's all that happened. But people online are like saying like it's a war or there's a there's a division. There is no division, right? I'm just a guy that says I don't want to be talked to in that way. I didn't do anything, right? It was just out of left field. It was just it was very traumatic, and I don't need to take that. Yeah, you know my I mean? producer Kirsten is on. The fucking she's got her finger on the pulse of everything podcasting, and she was telling me all the stuff that was going on. So I watched, I watched your episodes, and I've talked to other comedians about it as well. And you've been pretty open and honest about everything out there. Yeah, and so I, I don't blame you one bit. And I, I mean, saw that's Brendan Ed. We were at a wedding together, and I, um, you know, he was getting coffee, and I walked up to him. I go, "What'd you get?" Oh, he goes, "I got a ice. What are you gonna get?" You know what I mean? I go. I'm going to get a double espresso. You know what I mean? I'm not that him and I are going to get back to the place, but it's like, I, I feel like there's, you know, I'm well, that was like a work function. You were professional. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out, but, um, boundaries are necessary. I'm not allowing that anymore. Yeah, good. I don't want to allow it, you know, but, um, that's all it is. You know what I mean? It was like, um, I did, I never had a problem with those guys. I love those guys. In fact, one of my most viral things when it comes to podcasting, is on Fighter Than Kid. It's like still out there. You know what I mean? It's a very funny bit. And, um, you know, we worked well together at one point. It's just, it just got out of hand, you know? And um, I don't know, man. It was just, I wish it never happened, but, and did that affect my relationship with, yeah, it, it, you know, it's, it did. I mean, a lot of that stuff affected it. It kind of, um, put more fuel on something that, you know what I mean, that didn't need more fuel, right. you know? And, um, that was already having problems. Yeah. And also, I, 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 you know, I don't know if, I think maybe a year from now, maybe, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll realize that Kalila's the one for me and I'll, we'll get back. I don't know.